Welcome to our vlog. Welcome to our vlog. Welcome to our vlog. Welcome to our vlog. La 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 la. Welcome to our vlog. Welcome to the Mills Klein Variety Reality Show. Boop, boop, ba, doop, boop, boop. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Tasha. And I am about to give you guys a lesson today. And this lesson isn't for my black friends. This lesson is for everybody who is not black or Mexicans because Mexicans understand black people pretty well. But sometimes I have to break my language down to the Mexicans too. But I'm going to need the Mexicans to get it together because if I'm understanding y'all English, I'm going to need y'all to understand my slang. Come on now. It ain't that hard. But anyway, this is pretty much for the white people. Maybe... The white people. I don't know. Anybody else don't understand the way that black people speak? I'm about to break it down for you, though. So this is a class. I don't even know if we calling this Ebonics or what it is that we want to call this. Um, actually, I need to go into my email here and pull up some more, you guys. I got a couple of uh, videos I'm going to put out today. I went um to youtube school yesterday you guys will see keep watching me all this so you'll keep hearing the same so how y'all like my pocahontas great my little ponytails y'all like them my little indian girl braids i'm done with baby hair too you know why first of all i felt a little weird wearing baby hair because i'm freaking 40 and at 40 for real we still doing baby hair that's what we doing baby hair at 40 but we are we are we are we are we are we are we are, we are, we are. and um people like to see i mean they make you look kind of cuter i suppose but i said i'm done with it because they make your freaking wigs with baby hair now it was already bad enough they make the weaves and the wigs look so good i don't get no love no more people boys used to like me because I have pretty hair or whatever but now it's like they everybody got a fucking wig or a weave so it's like they don't give me two looks it's like you just a big girl with a weave like no I'm a big girl but I got hair I got hair it's mine though it's not a weave so forget the baby hair no um, I'm serious but no nah, y'all gonna see me with some baby hair I started to put some baby hair out with these braids but um I was just like no because they may think I got on the um Pocahontas baby hair wig and I don't have on no Pocahontas baby hair wig, okay? So, <laughs> your girl's great. Your girl is great. Your girl is great, 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 great. Okay, so I'm going into my Gmail right now because I need to pull up the list because there is no way. I'm going to miss some. Hit me in the comment section below. And I wish I um, like could get in contact with some of my white friends to find out some of those phrases that I have said to them that I didn't screwed up. Because there's some stuff y'all say that I mess up tremendously. And my, right, my white friends be like, uh, no, I think you meant wompty wompty womp. So, I wish I could remember them um, if any white people who know me know some English grammar that I've messed up or some phrases or sayings that I've messed up. My last job, I used to do that crap a lot. The girl used to be like, uh, what does that mean? So, anyways, uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into what we talking about and that is the way that black people talk niggas negroes negroids africans african americans africans living in americans black folk we are not coons we are not niggers some of us refer to ourselves as niggas i know y'all don't understand that ish but it's okay it's okay it's okay. I know you don't. You know, it's okay. Don't get mad when you're on my vlog if you hear me call my kids niggas. I'm not meaning that I want to lynch them, hang them from the tree, and I've got some deep breaded hatred for these little niggers of mine. No, that's not it. It's like little nigga picking toys up. Little nigga do this. Oh, what up, little nigga? Good grace, little nigga. That's my nigga. You know, it can mean a lot. Just like bitch. You can be a bitch. I'm going to whoop your ass. Or you can be like, that's my bitch over there. Or you can be like, bitch, please. You know, same thing with nigga. Nigga, please. Nigga, I'll beat your ass. Nigga, you cool. Nigga, you the homie. Nigga, white people can't say it. That. Yeah. But 
Without spending any further ado, let me just say that I love everybody. I don't care what race you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care if you're transgender, no gender, homosexual, bisexual, transsexual, transvestite, uh, bull dagger, uh, gay or lesbian, straight, uh, sinner, God believer, uh, Buddha worshiper, uh, Satan worshipers. I'm going to need y'all to stay away from my page. Them people, I'm going to need to stay away. But if you're Muslim, it don't matter. Like, whatever you are, I love everybody. Especially if you hit like and subscribe. Then you mean even more. Real talk. Okay, here we go right here. How black people talk. Now, first of all, we have a tendency to switch the T and the H into an F. I don't know why, but the TH becomes an F. And that's when we would say something like this. Uh, did you guys brush your teeth? We did not say teeth. We said teeth. Does that take away the fact that we know it's probably pronounced teeth? But ain't nobody got time to go teeth when teeth is just so much easier. Go brush your teeth. Go brush your teeth. Or um, you got a friend named Keith? You got a friend named Keith? Well, we ain't calling him Keith. We like, hey, where Keith at? Where Keith at? Tell that nigga Keith we over here. Keith! 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 What's up, Keith? Okay. And then another one is... Um... Tooth and roof. Um, we are not saying tooth. Did you catch that? It's tooth. So, like my little five-year-old told me the other day, Mommy, my tooth fell out. I said, baby, your tooth fell out? You mean your tooth fell out? The proper way to say it, honey, is tooth, just so you know, okay? But I don't, I'm not going to fuss with him at tooth, because I say tooth. In fact, when I just said tooth to you guys right there, I was like, uh, did I give him the wrong word? What's the real word? And it's like, hello, Dodo, it's not tooth, it's tooth, okay? Your tooth fell out, okay? And, um... I don't know why I have roof up there. I just had a dodo moment. Like, no, roof is roof. Roof is roof, okay? Um, okay, so that is familiar in our language. Um, and it will sound something like this in the sentence. We have, like I said, and with the T-H, we also have replaced it when it's in the front of the word with the D-A. I don't know why, but that is no longer that to black people. It is that. Let me get that over there. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. That, that, okay? Did you see that? Did you see that shit last night? Oh my God, that shit was the bomb. You hear that? The, no longer a TH. It's a DA when it's in the front of the word for black people. And when it's at the end, when the TH is at the end of the word, it becomes an F. When the TH is in the front of the word, it becomes a DA. So, the, the, that, that, then, then. Um, and then we went to the movies and that shit was the bomb. Okay? Okay. All these gestures for black people, y'all, that's just color in the conversation, baby. That's how we color it up. These, thank God, yes, Lord, for reality TV, okay? They put this stuff on the map, girl. They be like, girl, bye, boo, who, what? Bye, Felicia. Ain't nobody got no time for that. Feel me? Word. Okay. So, we did that, that, there, dare. Dare do not mean a deer. If you see D-E-R, we not spelling deer wrong. It's like, no, um... Um, um, dear, what's dear? Oh, there. Um, let me get, let, let me get over there. Let me get over there. Not dear, dare. Let me get over there. There, dare. T-H, no more for black people in the front. It becomes D's. Okay, so there. And then we have, oh, NIM. Can y'all use NIM in a sentence before I can? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 ba -da 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 boom, boom. Y'all got it yet? Okay, Nim. Let me think. Like I said, we have replaced these THs. So, Nim would be them. Them. Did you see them over there? 
Did you see them over there? Now, NEM can also be DEM. It can be D-E-M or N-E-M. You One black person could say, did you see NEM over there? Did you see them over there? And one black person could say, did you see them over there? D-E-M. DEM, NEM, but they all mean them, okay? DEM, NEM, all mean them. Dem, I need to make a cat in a hat for black folk. DEM, NEM, all mean them. DARE, NARE, all mean there. Get y'all y'all following me? Okay. So then we have now this one is just something that black people say. Um, and I don't even think it replaces a word. It's just a word we know. And this word is NAM. N-A-M. NAM. Can you guys use NAM in a sentence? Boom, 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 boom. When you think you could sing, do 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 Now, you ain't get mama, can we have some ice cream? Ain't now one of y'all getting a now thing up in here tonight. Now, okay, that's now. What's next? Now, oh, this is a good one. I think some white folk may say this one too because I freaking watch Honey Boo Boo Chow. I saw Honey Boo Boo Chow. I know about Mama June and Alana and, 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 and what's that one name uh, that had the baby with the extra finger? I forgot all their names. Sugar Bear, that's the daddy. Sugar Bear, Alana, Mama June. Man, they've been off the air for so long. But anyway, it's some it's them, it's some white folk out there that they they could tell give me a lesson on y'all. It's some white the, the white people that talk like this. Now I don't want none of y'all kind up off here around my ear parts because I got a tree right over there yonder with rope on that mug just waiting for your black ass. Walk on down my street with your hoodie on, resembling Trayvon Martin, and see what happened to you up off my knees here parts. Them white people, y'all could probably teach me something about the way y'all talk, because it ain't no regular English. And, and there are also some black people that don't say street, they say street. That's a whole nother level of country, and I ain't talking about this. This is black people right here in California, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, we did now. Uh, the one that every white person is going to say, too, uh, that one was finna. Finna's kind of old. Everybody should know what finna mean by now. It means I'm about to. I'm finna. I'm fencing, too. I don't know who used to say I'm fencing, too, because they used to be like, don't say I'm fencing, too. Well, nigga, ain't nobody said I'm fencing, too. I said finna. Fencing, too, sound like you fixing two fences or something, okay? Okay, so finna. Now, about can mean a couple of... It's a different kind of ways and varieties we can use bout. First of all, we all know bout can mean about, okay? Now, bout can always mean like, like about can always mean like you for something or you down with something. Like if somebody be like, um, you want Starbucks today? I'm about that life. Yeah, I'm about that life. Let me get some Starbucks. I'm about that. I'm about that. I'm about that, bro. I'm about that. I'm about that life. Everybody be like, you gangster? Yeah, nigga, I'm about that life. I'm about that life. Blood, cud, blood. I'm, I'm cool with the cuds and the bloods and everything. But I will say, Christian Dior, you need to drop them blue bottoms, okay? Because your girl ain't buying no red bottoms. I'm going to need me some blue bottoms, okay? Boy, I'm boo. I need blue. I'm not rocking no red on my shoe. Boy, I'm boo. I need blue. I'm not rocking no red on my shoe. All you crip bitches talking about y'all, uh, uh, some crits, but you rocking red bottoms. Where they do that at? I'm just saying, not for real. I ain't no gangster. I'll just mess with y'all. I'll just be, I'm just being weird. That's all. I'm just being weird. That's why I'm on YouTube. Because my mama couldn't afford to put me through uh, acting school. So I'm doing it myself on YouTube. Thanks for YouTube. Okay, so now we got, we did finna. We did bout to, uh, bout it, bout that life. Um, oh, if we see J-E-S-U-S. That is Jesus. It is not Jesus. H-A-Y-Z-U-S. It's not Jesus. It's Jesus. It's not that. It's Jesus. Yes, God. Okay. Uh, and better. We don't say better. We say better. We don't say better. We say better. Better. 
Better, better, you better, you better, you better, you better, you better, you boo. Okay, um, we also say, uh, oh, yeah, I used to do this to the, uh, old, the seniors I work with when we would do yoga at the end, and they'd be like, namaste, and they say, namaste. I'd be like, black people for namaste, namaste means, no, I'm going to stay here, namaste, no, I'm going to stay here. Oh, and if you hear us go, uh, duh, okay, white people should know what that means, too. Uh, duh, duh. Duh. Okay, and oh, if you see this D E R D E R D E R, because especially if it's someone get and ratch like me, which means ghetto and ratchet, we just break it up and make it. See, when we create words, we already know what they mean. It's universal. We make up words, and niggas already know what it means. Okay, so if you see D E R time four, that means dirt earth da dirt. And some people may spell it different than dirt earth da dirt, because sometimes we'll go dirt earth da dirt, but some black people go da 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 da. It's like dirt earth da 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 da. It all means you're da 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 da. That means uh da 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 da. That means that you are a um. And this comes from white people a uh, retard. I saw that on one of the movies. I forget which one it was. If you remember which movie that was, drop that down in the comment section below. Who said? You are a retard in a movie, and they broke it up like that, like retard. And we're not making fun of retarded people. No, I love retarded people. I had a retarded person in my family, a retarded person went to my church. The person in my family actually passed away. Um, the person that went to my church, I don't know where he is these days, but the pastor used to put the poor little boy on blast on his service. The little boy would be in church like, I did not eat <laughs> the pastor would be like, <laughs> the pastor would be like, I bind that spirit up in the name of Jesus. The little boy like, dude, no, dude, uh, uh. like, Jesus, oh, like, oh my God, you're binding him up. But anyway, yeah, nothing against um, the mentally challenged people. I take care of them. I don't have a problem with wiping they spit from their mouth. None of that. I don't have a problem giving them a hug when they, when they looking less than what normal people think. I don't stare at them like. You know, retarded people, God love them too, or mentally challenged. And I say retarded because that's just the word that they use for it. But when we say retarded, we're not talking about a retarded person. We're talking about that retarded motherfucker we referring to right then. Like, you retarded, man. You a retard, bro. Okay, also, when you hear black people say, since we're on a topic, you rode the short yellow bus. Uh, my clip art will show you that, I'm sure. Um, you rode the short yellow bus when I was little, and the short yellow bus will ride by again. Parents with handicapped kids, please don't be sensitive to this. Gay people, too, y'all be sensitive for everybody, like, don't get sensitive to this, okay? But when I was little, and people was on the short yellow bus, they always had them boxing like them boxing helmets on them helmets that the boxers wear them little padded helmets or whatever and they'd be all up on a short yellow bus all up on the window like that's the short yellow bus so they all be on that little short yellow bus with their helmets on just looking out the window and we like Man, those poor kids. I know. So anyway, when we say you on a short yellow bus, yes, we're referencing people on a short yellow bus, but the motherfucker we looking at ain't really retarded like that. So we making fun of them like you're a retard, but we would never make fun of the retarded like that. That would just be not cool because that's just so sad. In fact, I want to go give a retarded person a hug right now. Okay, and the next one is by Felicia. If you hear somebody say, bye, Felicia, they are basically saying, get out of here with that. Miss me with a bullshit. Uh, girl, ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, bye, Felicia. That means get the hell on with whatever you're talking about because ain't nobody trying to hear it. The best way I could break that down for white folk is if you ever watch Martin, you should be all old enough to know who Martin Talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. Bye, Felicia. All that stuff mean the same thing. Okay? Yes, Lord. 
Okay, um, girl, bye. And it could be boy, bye. Girl, bye. Girl, bye means like, again, bye, Felicia. It's like, please, ain't nobody got time for what you talking about. No one has the energy to sit here and entertain the vocabulary that is flowing from your dental plan. So, girl, bye. Or boy, bye. And also, boo means the same thing. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that maybe the Bloods came up with that. Because if you guys know anything about Crips and Bloods, Crips aren't that bad with it, but they need to do it too, though. Because it's pretty cool what the Bloods have done. They don't like to say anything that starts with the letter C. So instead of saying, I'm cool on you, they was like, I'm boo on you. So boy, boo. Girl, boo. Girl, bye. All mean the same thing. And any crip saying it need to be shot in the foot because you should be saying I'm cool. And ain't nothing wrong with saying I'm cool because we already cool. We ice cold. We blue. We blue. We true. We cool. Okay. And Blood's like, I was watching this show called, um, dang, my homegirl tell me I forgot. Insecure? No, was that the name of it? Insecure? I think it was called, huh? I forget. Anyway, but the, um, one of the dudes was a blood and he had a daughter and, um, the daughter, the, the neighbor said, what y'all doing? And the, the blood said, we watching Bear Bears. Now we all know that there's no Care Bear. I mean, there's no Bear Bears. It's Care Bear. But since he a blood, he said Bear Bear. Hence for bloods won't say I'm cool. They say I'm boo. So that's where it comes from. Boy, I'm boo. Oh, boo. All right. Okay, so that's boo. Okay, so we got ba, boo, burr. B-R-R. -R. Some people may spell it B-E-R. But burr, all that stuff mean the same thing. Burr, like miss me. That's more masculine. The dudes say that a lot. Again, it was the, probably the blood boys the that put that on the map. Burr. Hey, hey, why are we talking about crips and blood? Okay? Again, nothing against the gays. And if you gay, go ahead and keep your damn pants sagging because that's what it's for. It's for the gay people. Sagging your pants is not for the straight people. Look it up. Google fact check me. Sagging, sagging, sagging. Yeah, that's what it's for. Sagging your pants is not for straight men. Sagging of the pants was... Uh, is is a a uh, oh shit. I want to say a term of endearment for gays in prison, but the sagging of the pants was a way for inmates to knew know who the hell likes to have sex in the rectum. So they wear their pants showing their damn rectum or or their booty or kind of like a girl with a thong with some shorts that go lower than the thong. You want to, to, to show off your hip line. Let me just tell you, if I put a thong on, if I put a thong on, look at this, it's going to cover right here. You won't be able to see it. You won't see my thong. But, so, it was to show the boys, um, the other men, who the hell is gay in jail. And so, when you come out of jail, and you wearing your pants sagging, it's like, bruh, you really gay. It ain't even a jail gay when you just do it in the butt or get fellatio um, because you're in jail. You come out and you still doing that. You gay, but I'm sorry. You let somebody suck your thing and you stick your thing up somebody's butthole, you're gay. I, okay, we're going to get off of that right now. Anyway, uh, like I said, I ain't got nothing against gay people, though. Uh, Y'all the homie. I got some of my uh, closest friends are gay. Well, that's a lie. I just know gay people, though, and I'm cool with them. Okay, so... Uh, uh, bye Felicia, bad, boo, burr, all mean the same thing. Here's one that's really popping right now. Bruh. Bruh does not mean bro. It does not mean brother, all like that. Bruh is kind of like bye Felicia, boo, and burr. Uh, it's like bruh. Bruh. You know? Excuse me. Actions speak louder than words. So my facial expression should really show you. Bruh. Bruh. For real, bruh? Meme that. Bruh. I got a meme of my little boy doing that. He was doing that. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. Uh, for real, though, that means when you hear black people say for real, though, that means are you serious? For real, though. For real, though. Are you serious? For real? You got to be kidding me. 
Okay, um, for real though, okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Or you gotta be joking or stop tripping. All that means for real though. Um, bounce. Now, bounce does not mean the act of a ball hitting against the ground and gravity propelling it back into the air. Nor does it mean that you have went to the bank and tried to process a check and it bounced due to insufficient funds. That isn't what we mean if you hear a black person saying bounce. Uh, what it actually means is that we're probably about to leave from somewhere and move to another location. Um, I'll use it in the sentence. Uh, how long, how much longer are you going to be here, bruh? Uh, we about to bounce up out of here in a few minutes. Okay. Right. Also, when you say minute, black people say minute. Um, when a black person says uh, minute, if they're from California, that means it's going to take a very, very, very long time. A very, if somebody in California black tell you it's going to take a minute, they mean they're talking about a long time. However, if a nigga in New York tell you, oh, I'm going to be there in a minute, that nigga mean he's outside your door in 60 seconds freaking flat, and he's mad if you ain't out there, okay? So that's that. Um, outta, O-T-T-A. Outta means um, out of, plain and simple. Um, we, out, we about to be out of here. We about to be out of here. We ain't breaking it up to out of. Who got time for out of, out of, out of, out of. We out of here, all right? Uh, about to. Um, we also bout to, bout to, bout to is bout to. We bout to go right now. We bout to be over there. We bout to move up. We bout to bout it. Okay. Uh, uh, four, we oftentimes don't say four. We tend to drop the R and add an E and change it from four to fo. Um, it does not, let's see how to put it. Um, fo does not mean your opponent or your enemy. Uh, for black people, foe means four. Plain and simple. Um, we about to go foe. They come in here tripping. They. D-E-Y. There goes another one. The D-H to the D. Uh, what's another one? We. This is a long class. You guys did not know it was this long, did you? Um, oh, X. A. X E does not mean you need to run because some Negro is trying to chop your head off. It simply means we're asking a question. We just don't say ask. We say ask. My daddy used to correct me all the time. No, Melvin, it's ask. Um, I ain't got to do shit but stay black and die. This necessarily means fuck off, plain and simple. That's what that means. Oh, here's one. If you hear someone to say, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. If someone says this, they're pretty much disgusted with you. And the best thing to do is exit the situation as quickly as possible. This may begin to escalate if you do otherwise. So if somebody tells you fuck out of here, just get the fuck out of there, okay? Um, oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone means leave me alone. Mothers say that a lot. Leave me alone. You better leave me alone now. If someone says, I have a specific question, we're not talking about the ocean. What we really mean to say is specific, but some reason black people are brain triggered. And I've seen tons of countless of white people do this too. But I'll help the ones who say it the proper way. I'll check them for you. Just know um, from this point on, we know the right way. But we're going to go ahead and say specific because specific just sounds easier in assistance. I have a specific question to ask. Not specific, but specific. I'm done. I'm done. That does not mean that something's in the oven and it's finished baking. However, it does draw the same connotation. It means that I'm done. Whatever you're talking about, we're through with it. We ain't trying to hear you no more. Our ears are blocked. We are done 
snap through. And it could be meant in a serious way or in a joking way because we have dingy black girls like myself that people call us dingy, but we really not dingy. We some smart ass pictures. We just play dumb. And um, people, when we talk, like people looking at my video like, oh, bitch, I'm done. I am done. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. So that's what I'm done mean. When you do some crazy stuff, you can say I'm done too. I'm dead. All oh, that's the same thing. I'm good. I'm boo. I can't. That's our favorite right now. Oh, I can't. I can't with her right now. I can't with her right now. I can't. I'm dead. I'm boo. Burr. Boy, bad. I'm good. I'm cool. Uh, bet. Bet doesn't mean that we're at this casino or oh, black people, Filipino people. That don't mean we at the uh, casino uh, placing a bet. Uh, if, if, if you hear someone say uh, bet, you may want to also remove yourself from the situation depending on which way they're saying that. It could be a sign of... Uh, a situated and escalating it can also be a sign of an approval like if, if the situation's escalating to where some violence is about to happen this is how bet gonna come off okay this is normally how it go okay let's just say let's let's set a situation up so uh it's two dudes two black guys walking by each other and um one of them straight mad dog and the other one like this and then the other one Look over and be like, hey, cuz, what's up? And then the other one be like, what's up, blood? And then the other one be like, nigga, bet. If that happened, get the hell out. Something going down. But on the other hand, if this is the other situation, and you be like, hey, hey, what's cracking about, nigga? You got, you got 20 on this sack. We're going to go uh, to the dispensary. You got 20 on it. You got 60 on it. You got 20 on it. Bet. Now, that means, all right, cool, I got 20 on it. That's a sign of approval. Or if you ranch like me and your kids is like, Mom, can I have a piece of cake? Bet. Go on, you know, bet. Go on, have it. You know, bet. That, that's what that means. Not that we're we're placing a, a, a bet. Um, let's see. It could, let's see. That was bad. Holla. If we hear somebody say holla, First of all, we have taken the R and the O, um, I mean, um, R off a of holler, and we have added an A to it, so we're saying holla, and that doesn't mean that we're trying to yell at you, that just means that we'll speak to you later, um, so that's what holla means, holla, holla at your boy, cha, C-H-A, cha, chu, C-H-U, all these things mean you, shoe. That's all you to us. I got you. I got you. You know, all that's you. Um, um, what you want me to do? That's you. That's you for us. Um, I, I, I um, did you, J U? That's 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 universal for the Mexicans and the blacks for Jew. You, Jew. Also, I think I'm gonna just cut this short and do this in two different videos. So for part two. Y'all click back in. Let me know your comments below. The video's going way too long, and we have a few more to go. I will have the other half of these black phrases and sayings on another video because this one's just gone way too long. Always remember, don't look and hide. Hit like and subscribe to the Mills Klein Variety Reality Show. You guys always Leave a comment below to let me know how you're liking these videos. What would you like to see us do or see me do next? I will be more than happy to put on the show for you guys. This is what I'm doing now, so I'm here for you. Let me know what you need. Don't look and hide. Hit like and subscribe to the Moves Climb Variety Reality Show. Boop, boop, ba -doo -doo. Remember, stay tuned for part two of how Negroes talk. All right deuces that also mean that deuces doesn't mean that we got 20s or something it just means goodbye we throw the twos up the deuces why was i sitting here trying to click off of the phone with the mouse to the computer she cray bye y'all